The rugs indoors. Hard finding work here, you know, with the eternal fire. <laughs> oh, God, the Reapers come for me. Flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way. Upstairs. Witcher Geralt. Up you go. Boss has been waiting. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falka planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? Far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you... Got your invitation. Decided to come. That simple. Let's get down to business. I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman. Itinerant cobbler, that's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more, calls himself Gregor.
Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. Remember, I know. We'll count. Anyone see you come in? No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. Got a minute? I do. Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morin soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morin. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. Geralt, we've known each other for a while. You know I'd never turn you down normally. But right now I have some troubles. A hideout that is no more, a weapon shipment that failed to make its destination, and Vess drilling a hole in my gut. I'll go nowhere until I resolve at least the last. Geralt of Rivia. So long. God, a reaper's <clears throat> come for me. Light rain keeps the rogues indoors. Library. Imagine that. 
Vile times when beggars can put letters to me. What's he doing here? Wanted. Cradle, used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Writes these notices. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witch it would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgerd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. Run, Roach.
It's true you kill kings. You and our commander. Oi, clumsy ass. A witcher. Just what our band of merry men. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm hmm. It's Vess. <coughs> she took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the hanged man's tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Beware of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be royally fucked. You oh. trouble me, Greylox. Now, witches, they can't catch. It's true, you kill kings. You and our commander. the village below. Black with Nilf guardians or... No, Marshall. Shh. What now? A trio. Get to the Black Ones! Help me! Looks like... Geralt, we have to help. God damn it, Vess. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Melitale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! Ren. <coughs> 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 One left. 
You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. Uh, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. Storm, damn it. Light. Top floor of the tower. So found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure. Or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. 
I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake, burned to bolster the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? No, the opposite. When I get there with Ciri, I expect we'll have to battle the Wild Hunt. Unbelievable. Have you even been listening to me? Closer than you think. You're not looking for safety. You want your dignity back. You want to be Kira Metz, sorceress of the Lodge, not some healer from the swamps who reeks of manure. Giving you an opportunity Radovid won't give you. Go to Kaer Morhen. Show everyone what you're made of. Yennefer was right. You do have some notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Kaer Morhen? Beds free of bedbugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt. curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it. Well, my dad's off fighting the black ones. You're a witcher, right? Wanted to talk. This isn't easy. I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is. But I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first. Now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here. And we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. 
Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crane did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Wanted to talk. See ya, crack. Can you stay long? <sighs> Not a weak thing, I reckon, but night coin says you can't beat the chain. Very few bees. Fierce frosts we have this weather. Half the hive of speed. Come on, Roach. An ill omen to back up. Show me a dry year. Can we talk? Wild Hunt will attack Care Morhen soon. I'm gonna need your help. A Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. Oh, I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Care Morhen. Saws, air thick with the smell of sap. The yards are building new longships. It's the way of things. Trees are always the first of all.
Come on. Very few bees. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yara. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Ah! Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember that storm caused in Old Bay? Uh -huh. 
Correct them. He said that voice commanded them to die here into the maelstrom. Two bards are dead to protect them from harm. Cut and shoulder to the bone. Wound dead festered for a month. Adventure seeker. Saris passed out. Got to get her out of here. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar. The ancestral sword of Ulrich's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Ulrich. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skelligan. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at- We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the Isle had the same doubt, but none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udalric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udalric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udalric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udalric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udalric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
nothing here. Find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my dad, you were mates once, right? But we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> Uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. He's here for you drink last night too? Now here's a manly one. Not like my good friend. wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelrich hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Adventure seeker. One wreck after another for a fucking die. What are you looking for? Amber? Nay. Hands up on goats. I wish you'd probably look in the river. Oh, 
is something. You don't understand the thing. Our land sunk and hit by a ship full of loot. I think of the ways that toss something ashore. Must be the place. See you, little Rick. What is this? Rudolph. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch, you didn't help Aki, and now you've failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. T'was then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made...
I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Heims force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I'll wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelwick might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelwick? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelwick could just... expire. He's weak and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared.
Shattered. Ludelrick must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Ludelrick or Aki. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the faith. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I 
I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on Speaker Rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres. Looks like rain.
I long to be home to the modest abode whose corners are warm to my dog with his pipe to my two brothers my one to the Não, meu Deus. Tá bem, só. Yes, it's a long time.
curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. That's give it a thank. You. I'll go. Good idea. I'll stay. I'm sure. Must be. See you, Witcher. Not like my good friend of course. 